All right, so in today's video, I'm going to be testing out this Kicker iKick 501 do uh, iPod dock amplifier board and seeing how well it performs powering my old Dayton speakers that I built not too long ago. So I'm going to put this on the ground here. I'm now going to grab these speakers here and stick these on the ground beside it. And then what we're going to do is see how well the amplifier is able to power these speakers and see what sort of excursion we can get out of the driver. So if you're interested in that, stick around because that's exactly what's gonna be happening in today's video. All right, so the first thing to do, of course, would be to run power to the amplifier board. So I have right here a 12 volt plug and I'm going to plug this straight into the amplifier board and uh, oh, it's just lit up. So we now have the kicker logo on the iPod dock uh, amp board. And as you can see, it's ready for auxiliary in. So I believe there is a 3.5 mil socket what looks to be on this part of the amplifier board just here. So I'm gonna go and grab that right now, plug a 3.5 mil in, hook the speaker wire up to the speakers just here and see how this thing performs. All right, so I now have the speakers hooked up to the amplifier and I've just played a song through them and oh my God, I should really build something with this combination here. The little Dayton speakers and the amplifier sound absolutely incredible together. It would make for a really, really great portable speaker that's powered. Have a listen to this. It sounds absolutely incredible. There is low end, there is nice clear treble. The amplifier also has a treble and bass adjust so I can tone down a little bit of the super bright treble this speaker has or these speakers have here. So it is absolutely perfect. Perfect. I am really, really liking the sound of this. But this wouldn't just be a normal video of mine if I only played with these little speakers. So I'm going to grab some of my bigger towers and test out the amplifier on those and ha see how it performs with those speakers as well. The center speaker sounds pretty sick too. Can't quite push it as hard though. Jesus, these Dayton's play low. Give this a listen. Wow. All right, so I was extremely impressed with the way these things sound. It sounded sick, then it sounded sick, uh, and oh my god, these things actually play low as well. It is incredible. I'm kind of considering now with these, because in the new places I've said, I'm thinking of going Dally. Those I'll probably use in my bedroom. Those I'll probably use in the garage system. And I'm thinking I'm gonna probably pull this apart, use two of these woofers, or four of these woofers, two of the tweeters out of that, the crossovers out of that, and the amplifier here and make a portable boombox it isn't going to be battery powered. It's going to be uh, powered by this power brick here. But oh my God, some of the sound quality I am getting this morning is ridiculous. L let's hook these big speakers up. Let's see how hard this amplifier can push them because man, I'm getting really, really impressive excursion out of every speaker so far. So pff, let's just see what they can do with, you know, four, five and a quarter inch drivers. I can give you the sound quality from these is even better than these, which was even better than that, which was even better than these. I, I don't have words. These are incredible in here, especially with that little amplifier. And because it's got a little leak here, you can just, oh. The sound quality is ridiculous. Instead of having all the speakers piled up in the corner over there, uh, instead what I'm gonna do is pile all of the speakers up in the corner over there, except one of them is going to be over there facing into the room and the other one is going to be on top of the subwoofers over here facing, oh, that was just really rude. Uh, just standing up on top there facing into the room and I'll put the little amplifier just there. Uh, basically just meaning if I wanna listen to some tunes whilst I'm in here enjoying myself, uh, I can definitely do that because as it is right now, I've been using the, uh, oh, uh, I've been using a Bluetooth speaker and well, it doesn't have five, uh, four or five and a quarter inch drivers and definitely doesn't sound anywhere near as good as this does. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna demo some songs for you, show you some excursion as to what a, however many watt amplifier can push these drivers. And uh, then I'm going to set it up in this room, try and clean this room up again because it's just messy in here all the time. 
and I'm really trying to keep this room nice and neat, but it's like a work room. All my stuff's in here, all my storage stuff, all my tools, all my everything. So I'm gonna do that now. I'm fully impressed now. Not only can the thing produce some pretty impressive low end, but that song just then was so loud. That treble, that snare was just so ridiculous. Uh, what I'm gonna do now is hook these up though back at the back of the room and see how that looks and how that sounds. And hopefully it sounds just as good. Uh, if it doesn't, I'll be a little bit upset, but I don't think it's gonna be too different. I just think the bass might be slightly less because they're not gonna be together, although that might be more because they're in the middle of a room at the moment and over there they're gonna be in corners. But let's try it out and let's see what happens. This is a terrible sort of angle to be filming towards because of the window. But I now have the towers hooked up at the back of the room. Uh, so that right tower there is hooked up. The ones at the wall there are just sitting there. The speaker stands are back up on just about on the roof. And over here, of course, your left speaker and the little amplifier board is blue tacked down. It looks sketchy as, and there's an auxiliary cable that runs into my phone just here. It looks sketchy and weird. However, it sounds pretty decent to be honest. It's a little bit boomier than my liking, but I'll just touch the EQ on that little amplifier board over there and just crank it down a little bit. So there's a new system in this room. So that's pretty cool. If you guys have enjoyed this video, let me know because I have certainly enjoyed making it because it means now when I'm in this room, I've got tunes to listen to. So with that being said, like the video if you have liked it. Subscribe to my channel down below if you haven't already. With that being said, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Hope you enjoyed.